Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching. Today we will make this beautiful blouse. It is a medium size but you can make it larger or smaller if you like. Here are some measurements that I took with a starting chain of 204. It is made with a lark's foot pattern. We will add a border to the bottom of our blouse. And we will make a border around the neckline and single crochet around the sleeves. I am using the Diva Batik design from Alice and the color is 4572. I am using a little more than two and a half skeins for this blouse. Here is the yarn information and here is the hook information. Let's get started with our blouse. Make a chain in multiples of six. I will chain 204. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and so on. I will chain 204. After you made your chain, carefully go back to the beginning of your chain and make sure it's not twisted. And make a slip stitch into the first chain, into the front loop. That's the loop on the bottom. So when you go through that bottom loop, the front loop, you will have the two pieces of yarn on your hook. Make the slip stitch and start round one. Chain three for the first double crochet, then go into the next chain, into the front loop or the loop on the bottom and make a double crochet. And make another double crochet into the next chain. You see that loop? Go right into the middle of it. And you have the two pieces of yarn on your hook. Make the double, chain one, into the next three chains, make three double crochet. So that's what we're doing in this round. We make three doubles, chain one. One, two doubles, three doubles, chain one. Make three doubles with a chain of one in between until you get to the end of the round. Finish round one with a chain and make a slip stitch into the third chain. And start round two. And round two is the first round of our four round repeating pattern. Chain three and make two more doubles into the next two doubles. One and two. Chain one, skip over the chain and make three doubles into the previous three doubles. So we're repeating the same round as we did in round one. One, two, three doubles into the previous three doubles, chain one. Skip over the chain and repeat until the end of the round. Make three doubles into the previous three doubles, one, two, three, with a chain one in between. Finish round two with one chain make a slip stitch into the third chain again. Let's start round three which is the second round of our four round pattern repeat. Make a chain of three and chain one for the chain space. Skip over the second double crochet, go into the third double and make a double crochet and now we will make the lark's foot into the second chain space. Here's the first one below that is the second chain space. Yarn over, go into the second chain space right around the entire chain, pull a long loop, pull through two loops and through two and that's the lark's foot. And now we can repeat the pattern, make a double crochet into the first double, chain one, skip the second double, make a double into the third double, yarn over, make the lark's foot into the second chain. The one below the first chain, go around the entire chain, pull a long loop, pull through two loops and through two loops and repeat, make a double into the first double, chain one, skip one, make a double into the third double and make the lark's foot under the first chain. And now you can repeat that pattern until the end of the round. Make a double crochet into the first double, chain one, skip one, make a double into the third double and make the lark's foot into the second chain space underneath the first chain space. Finish 
Finish round three with a double into the first double, chain one, skip over the second double and make a double into the third double, make your lark's foot, and finish the round with a slip stitch into the third chain next to the chain of one. Start round four, which is the third round of our repeating pattern, chain three for the double crochet and chain one more for the chain space. Skip over the chain, make a double into the double, make a double into the lark's foot double and a double into the double. So we're repeating the rounds we did in the beginning. Chain one and make three doubles into the previous three doubles. One, two, three, chain one and repeat, make three doubles in the previous three doubles with a chain one in between. Finish round four with three doubles into the previous three doubles and chain one. Make a double into the first double and make a double into the second double which is our lark's foot and we already have the chain in the beginning and those are our three doubles. Finish round four with a slip stitch into the third chain and start round five. And that's the fourth and last round of our pattern repeat. Chain three and make a lark's foot into the second chain space and as you can see our lark's foot pattern is shifting now. Make a double into the first double. Chain one, skip one double, make a double into the third double and make the lark's foot into the second chain space. Make a double into the first double, chain one, skip the second double, and make a double into the third double. Then make a lark's foot into the second chain space and now you can repeat that pattern until the end of the round. Make a double into the first double, chain one, skip one, make a double into the third double and make the lark's foot into the second chain space. Finish round five with a lark's foot into the second chain and make a double crochet into the first double. Chain one, skip the second double and make a slip stitch into the third chain and now we can start round six and that's our first round again of our four round pattern repeat. Chain three for the double crochet and make two doubles into the next two doubles. One and two. Chain one, skip the chain, make the three doubles into the previous three doubles and repeat until the end of the round. Make the three doubles into the previous three doubles with a chain one in between. Finish round six with one chain and make a slip stitch into the third chain and we can start round seven which is the second round of our pattern repeat the lark's foot round again. Chain three for the double and make one more chain for the chain space. Skip over the second double, make a double into the third double and then make the lark's foot into the second chain. And you can repeat this pattern until the end of the round. Make a double into the first double, chain one, skip one double, make a double into the third double and the lark's foot into the second chain space. Finish round seven with a lark's foot and make a slip stitch into the third chain and start round eight which is the third round of our pattern repeat. Chain three for the double crochet, one, two, three and make one more chain for the chain space. Skip over the chain and make three doubles into the previous three doubles. One, two and three and now you can repeat that pattern. Chain one and make double crochet, three double crochet into the previous three doubles. With a chain one in between. Finish round eight with two double crochet into the previous two doubles and make a slip stitch into the third chain and now we can start round nine which is the fourth and final round of our pattern repeat again. Chain three for the double crochet and make a lark's foot into the second chain space. Make a double crochet into the first double chain one and repeat, skip the second double, make a double into the third double, a lark's foot into the chain space and a double into the first double. Chain one and repeat, skip the second double, make a double into the third double, make the lark's foot and a double into the first double, chain one, skip one. 
finish round nine with a double into the first double chain one make a slip stitch into the third chain and start round ten and now you can repeat the four rounds over and over you can start watching the video at round two if you like a slower pace where we made the first round the second round the third round and the fourth round of our pattern repeat or you can start at round six if you like a faster pace where we made again round one two three and four of the pattern repeat all together i made 17 rounds the first round was a foundation round and then a four round pattern repeat i made it one two three four times you can add more rounds if you want a larger size and you can look at the rounds that you already made so far they should reach about under your arm please finish this part with either round two or round four of the pattern repeat so a lark's foot round and we can start our underarm spaces together now here's our chain of three the starting chain put your first marker around the first lark's foot and count 16 lark's feet for the arm space starting at the marker one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen put your marker around the sixteenth lark's foot that's our first arm space now let's count the lark's feet for the front of the blouse starting at the marker again count 20 lark's feet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Put your marker around the 20th Lark's foot. That's the front of the blouse. For the second sleeve, count 16 Lark's feet again. Start at the marker and count 16 Lark's feet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Put your marker around the 16th Lark's foot for the sleeve. And now we can double check if we have the right amount of Lark's feet for the back. Start at the marker and we should have 20 Lark's feet. Start at the marker and count 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And the 20th Lark's foot is where our first marker is. So everything is correct. If you fold your blouse together, you can see where the two arm spaces are. To the left and to the right. And we have the front and the back of the blouse. Let's continue with our first round of the pattern repeat again. Chain three for the first double crochet and make two more doubles into the next two doubles. So in this round we make our regular first round of the four round pattern repeat. Now make your arm space in multiples of four plus one. I will chain 12 plus one, so 13. If you need a bigger arm space, you can chain more. I will make 13 chains 12 plus one. Then go along the bottom of the blouse to your next marker and that's where we will connect our chain for the arm space and you can hold it like that and see if you need more space. You can add more chains and multiples of 4 plus 1 and it will make your sleeve bigger. Go to the next marker and go into the first double crochet again next to that marker that we put into the Lark's foot and make the three doubles again so we continue our regular pattern. Make the double crochet one two three doubles into the previous three doubles and chain one make three doubles into the previous three doubles with a chain one in between until you get to the next marker let's take a look at the arm space again make sure it fits you when you get to the second arm space make the three doubles where the marker is into the first double into the second double and into the third double and then repeat the same arm space you did on the other side i made 13 chains so now i will make 13 chains and you make the same amount of chains you did on your first arm space then go along the bottom of the blouse again to the next marker and start the pattern over make the three doubles into the previous three doubles one two and three chain one and repeat make three doubles into all of the previous three doubles with a chain one in between and before you continue double check that you like your size you can always add more rounds 
and more chains. Finish the round with a chain and make a slip stitch into the third chain and now we will make the second round of our repeat which is our Lark's foot round. Chain 3 for the double and chain 1 for the chain space. Skip the second double and make a double into the third double. Then make a double into the first chain and this is our Lark's foot now but we don't have a chain space to reach. So now we just replace the Lark's foot with a regular double crochet and make a double into the next chain and we still work in groups of three so now we have the three doubles. Chain one, skip one chain and make three doubles into the next three chains and you can do that until you reach the end of your chain. Make the three doubles into the three chains, chain one, skip one. When you get to your last group of three doubles, make the first double into the chain, make the second double into the last chain and make the last double into the first double of the previous round. So we have our three doubles again. Chain one. Then continue with the regular Lark's foot pattern. Skip the second double, double into the third double, Lark's foot, double into the first double. Chain one, skip the second double, double into the third double, Lark's foot, double into the first double, chain one. Continue until you get to the second arm space. At the second arm space, make a double into the first double, chain one, skip one, make a double into the third double, and that's the first of our three doubles. Make two doubles into the next two chains, so the second double into the first chain and the third double into the next chain, and we work the same way as on the other side. Chain one, skip one, make three doubles. Chain one, skip one, make three doubles. And when you get to your last three doubles, make the first double into the chain, make the second double into the last chain, and make the third double into the first double of the previous round and continue the pattern. Chain one, skip one, make the double, make the Lark's foot, make the double, chain one and continue that pattern until the end of the round. Finish the round with a slip stitch into the third chain and start the third round of the repeat. Chain three for the double and chain one more for the chain space. And then we work in groups of three again, make three doubles into the previous three doubles. Chain one, make three doubles into the previous three doubles with a chain one in between. It's the same as our previous third round of the repeat. Finish the round with a slip stitch into the third chain and now we start the fourth round of the repeat. It's the same as before. Chain three, make the Lark's foot, make a double, Chain one, skip one, make a double, make the Lark's foot, make a double, chain one, skip one. Now you can make the blouse as long as you like. I will make 52 rounds, so I made the four round pattern repeat 13 times. And I finished round four of the pattern repeat with a chain. And now we can make slip stitches. Make a slip stitch into the third chain. Make a slip stitch into the next double, that's our Lark's foot double. Make a slip stitch into the next double and make a slip stitch into the chain space and now we can start our last round. Let's make the border around the bottom of our blouse. Chain one and make a single crochet into the same chain space. Chain one, skip the three doubles, one, two, three and go into the next chain space and make seven double crochet into the chain space, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one and repeat. Skip the three doubles, go into the next chain space and make a single crochet. Chain one, skip the three doubles, go into the next chain space and make seven double crochet. now you can repeat until the end of the round. Chain one, skip the three doubles, one, two, three, go to the next chain space and make a single crochet. 
chain one, skip the three doubles, go to the next chain space and make seven double crochet into the chain space, chain one. Finish the round with seven doubles into the chain space and chain one. Then you can take the hook out of the loop and go into the single crochet from the back to the front and pull the loop through from the front to the back, chain one and so on, you lose in. And now we will add two rounds to our neckline. We don't have chain spaces, so I will start where I previously started the round, right where the lark's foot is. I put a slip knot on my hook, and where the lark's foot is, in between the groups of three doubles, I make a single crochet, and we will pretty much repeat the same round, almost the same round as on the bottom. Chain one, then make five doubles, skip three doubles, and where the lark's foot is again in that space, this time make only five doubles. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one, skip three doubles, and make the single crochet. Chain one, skip three doubles, and make five doubles. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one and repeat, skip three doubles and make a single where the lark's foot is. Chain one, skip three doubles and make five doubles where the lark's foot is. Chain one. Make your last five doubles in between the groups of three doubles and chain one. Make a slip stitch into the single crochet. Make a slip stitch into the chain and then three slip stitches into the next three doubles. One, two, and the third slip stitch into the third double crochet. Now we can start our last round. Chain one and make a single crochet into the third double. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and make a pico. Grab the two pieces of yarn of the single crochet and pull through all of the three loops and that's a slip stitch pico. Chain four and repeat one, two, three, four. Skip all the way to the third double crochet. One, two, three into the third double crochet. Make a single crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and make the slip stitch pico into the single crochet. Get the two pieces of yarn and pull through all of the three loops. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Make the single crochet into the third double. One, two, three, and repeat the pico. Chain four, make the slip stitch pico, and repeat until the end of the round. Chain four, skip to the third double crochet. One, two, three, make the single crochet, four chain slip stitch pico, and chain four. Finish the round with a chain of four and then you can finish the same way we did on the bottom. Take your hook out and then pull the loop through that single crochet from the front to the back. Make a chain and sew in your loose end. Now let's finish our blouse with one round of single crochet around the sleeve. Start at your underarm space between the first and the second group of double crochet and make a single crochet right around the entire chain. Then go into the same chain where your double is and grab one piece of yarn and make a single crochet and repeat two more time. Go into the next chain, make a single and go into the next chain and make a single. Then make a single crochet right around the entire chain. And I have to repeat that two more times. Make the three singles into the chains where the three doubles are. One, two and three. And make a single crochet into the chain space and this is my last group on under the arm. I make one, two singles, and then the last single into again into the same stitch where the previous double is. Then make a single crochet around all pieces of yarn next to it, so into that big space. Then go around the post of the double crochet next to it, right there is the post of the double, and make two singles around that. And make a single crochet into the double crochet. And repeat the pattern, make a single crochet into the chain space and three singles into the previous three doubles. One, two, and three. And repeat, make a single into the chain space and three singles into the previous three doubles. 
and you can repeat that pattern all around the sleeve now. Single crochet into the chain space and make three singles into the three doubles all the way around the sleeve. Then when you crochet around the sleeve, make the single crochet into the chain space, make the last three singles into the last three doubles before we get to the underarm space again. Make the single crochet into the chain space, make a single crochet into the double and then we repeat what we did on the other side. Go around the post of the double and make two singles around the post. One, two, then go around the chain, entire chain and make the single crochet and finish with three singles into the previous three doubles. Again go in the same spot where the three doubles are. Then you can cut your yarn and pull the loop out of the last single crochet thread and needle and skip over the first single we made and go into the second single from the front to the back through both loops and then go top down into the last single crochet through the back loop and that little back bump and so when you loose end and now we have an invisible join. Make the other sleeve the same way and now our blouse is finished. I hope you like it and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!